hope you're doing well at home. Tumewamisi sana watoto. Tumewamisi sana kama walimu, lakini tunawakumbuka na tunawaombea. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, Yesu anakupenda. Sasa tunakuja na Bible, notebook na kalamu. You're going to be talking about handling the situation, you know. Today we are going to talk about praying every day. Jesus coming the storm. You know praying is communicating with God. Matthew 6:33 ambayo inasema seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the others shall be added unto you. Psalm 36 verse 5 Your unfailing love, O oh Lord, is as vast as the heavens. You know what that means, right? His love for us is bigger than a dinosaur. That's huge!
God. Welcome to another service that we have had here as Sunday School Department. I am very glad to see you once again. I believe that God has taken care of you and you have been well. And it is something to thank God for. Kila siku kiamka subui and you see that you are continuing well in the Lord. Just bow down and pray to God and say thank you for you have been good to me. So I am saying thank you to God for I have seen you today and thank you for bringing us here so that you can share in his word. Let Father, we thank you for this service and we thank you for helping us to come here so that you can be able to share in your word. Pray that Jehovah God you may speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and believe. Amen. So we've been reading in the book of Acts for a while now and today I want us to learn about the story of Peter and Cornelius. So Cornelius was a man in the New Testament. He was a servant of God but he was not a Jew. You know Jews were the people of the tribe of Jesus but he was not a Jew. But he used to believe in God, he used to help the poor, he used to give things to the poor like food, he used to give them clothes and every a place to stay. So one day, one day Cornelius was praying in the afternoon and while he was praying, a voice of an angel, an angel appeared and started to speak to Cornelius. He told him that his gifts to charity have been received in heaven and he told him that there was a man in Joppa called Simon Peter and he wa told Cornelius to send servants to go and collect him. So when Cornelius heard the voice of the angel, he was very obedient and he sent two of his servants and a security guard to go and collect Simon Peter on the other side of town. Cornelius was living in Caesarea, so he sent his servants to go to Joppa and collect Simon Peter. At the same time, Simon Peter was praying on the other side. It was in the afternoon and Simon Peter was praying at 3 and a vision appeared to him. In this vision, there was a big cloud from heaven. It was covering the whole earth. And in this sheet, and this white sheet, all the animals that the Israelites were told not to eat were there. These animals were like pigs camels, snakes, all these animals that they were told never to eat were in this sheet. And the voice from heaven told Peter, collect one animal, slaughter it, and eat it. But Peter said, these animals are unclean. We have been told by the law of Moses not to eat any of these animals. Then the voice spoke a second time. Peter, collect the animals and eat. Peter said a second time, These animals are unclean. We are told not to eat them according to the law of the Jews. And then at that time, the voice commanded him again and Peter said the same thing. And then the vision ended. Then the sheet went up to heaven and it disappeared. Then Peter was left there wondering, what is this that God is trying to tell me this day? Then at the same time, the servants who were sent by Cornelius arrived at where Peter was staying. They knocked at the door and a servant came and opened the door. Then when he opened the door, they asked to see Simon Peter. And when Simon Peter came down, they told him about Cornelius and how God had told him to come and collect him and go with them. So Peter obeyed 
and he went with the servants. So now they are going from Joppa to Caesarea, where Cornelius was staying. When they arrived at Cornelius' house, Cornelius had prepared a feast and he was waiting for Simon Peter. He had even gathered his relatives and friends. All of them were ready to hear the word of God that will come from Peter. So when Peter arrived, Cornelius went to his feet. He knelt down trying to worship him, but Peter told him to rise up. I am just a man. I am not a god. So Cornelius rose up and he told him about what he had seen in his vision and what God had told him to go and collect Peter. So Peter now understood the vision that God had created about the animals. God was trying to speak to him and tell him that God was accepting even the Gentiles. You know, in the vision, he was being told to, to eat the unclean animals, which the Jews were told never to eat. And Peter was complaining, saying that they were unclean. But God was telling them at this time, do not call unclean what I have made clean. So this was it. Cornelius was thought by the Jews to be an unclean person. A person who is not a Jew was considered unclean. But now, God was telling them that everyone is called to the kingdom of God. It does not matter where you are coming from. It does not matter which tribe you are coming from, or which country, or where your home is. God is calling everyone. So Peter preached to them. And he preached to Cornelius and the Holy Spirit of God came down and filled Cornelius. So he was baptized by the Holy Spirit. After he was finished preaching to them, many people got saved on that day. Simon Peter preached and many people got saved and all of them, none of them was a Jew all of them were Gentiles to show that God was accepting the Jews and the Gentiles in the same, same manner. So from that day, I want us to learn something about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is for everyone. Do not think that God loves other people do you see some people unaona kama wameokoka kabisa Mungu anawapenda unasema au wenye huo wanahubiri Mungu anawapenda au wenye huo wanaenda wanaimba mbele ya kanisa Mungu anawapenda but God loves everyone equally so from today i want you right now where you are just touch your heart and say god loves me today god loves me so much more than i can ever imagine and once you tell yourself that, you will know that God wants the best for you. And that is why he has saved you and he wants you to remain in his kingdom. Since now you know that God loves you, I want you to prepare your heart to be receiving of his word, of the joy of salvation. Help others. Don't think that it is only the Jews who will go to heaven. Also you, you are called to this kingdom you will go to heaven and God is preparing you a mansion, a big big mansion in heaven. God has prepared even the best things for you here on earth. He wants you to grow up as a child of God and to be the best person that you can ever be. To be that career that you ever want. To be that place where you ever want. And to grow up to be a person who is good to everyone. So from today, I want you to know that God loves you and he wants the best for your life. Okay? So from today, I want you to be praying to God like he is your father. A father loves his dad. So when you are praying to God, remember that God loves you. And you can ask for anything in his name. And you will receive it. So from today, know that God loves you. 
and he wants the best for you. It does not matter where you're coming from. If you're rich, if you're poor, if you're from which tribe, if you're from which country, wherever you are, God loves you. So from today, remember that God is the word for today and God wants you to remember that each and every day. I want us to close our eyes and finish with the word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word this day and we pray that Jehovah God, that you may continue to show us your love and remind us, Jehovah God, of how much love you have for us, no matter who we are, no matter where we are, and no matter the situation that we are. And when we don't know that, Jehovah God, we will serve you to the best of our abilities. We will work our salvation and be better Christians in our lives. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. So, have a nice week. God bless you. And God loves you very much.